What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to discuss the newest Sly Cooper uh, leak. So we're going to be going over what we have found and also if they are even true. They should definitely be taken with a grain of salt, and I will explain why in a second. I do quickly just want to say two things. One, if you guys enjoy this kind of content, if you guys like my Sly Cooper coverage, which I've made lots of videos on Sly, and I fully plan on continuing it, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, have that bell icon rung. On a side note to that, I also have a second channel. It is just about video games and more specifically even talking uh, mainly about PlayStation games. So I will be covering Sly Cooper over there as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description and in a pinned comment. So do me a favor if you guys do like this content, not only subscribe to this channel podcast now, but my side channel. You guys would truly, truly rock for that. And I greatly appreciate your support. All right, Sly Cooper 5. Now, there's some fishy stuff here. Let's I, I want to remain as optimistic as possible. If you guys have watched past live videos, you'll know that I am pretty optimistic uh, just in general. But I think this all started from a posting on a website, a retailer website. Now, it's not the biggest game retailer uh, in the world. It's Instant Gaming, and it has a box cover uh, that has Sly Cooper 5 written on it. It's got his, you know, it's got Sly in it, but it's more of like the movie slash TV adaptation Sly, um, and all. And it says 2020, okay, and it's obviously uh, the box cover is for the PS4. And now other sites have picked this up, and there were, there is talk um, that this is not, it wasn't just on Instant Gaming, it was also on Press Start. So these are not the biggest sites in the world. It's not like this was on Game GameStop. It's not like this was on Best Buy. And to be honest with you, sometimes things do even appear on GameStop or Best Buy that turn out to not be true. You know, sometimes it's just fake. It's just photoshopped. It's just somebody pulling, a, you know, a prank or whatever. Sometimes they are true. They are absolutely uh, occasions where these things turn out to be true. But it again, like I want to be optimistic, and and seeing these rumors in general does make me happy, right? Because a few weeks ago, actually right before Christmas, we we had the the kind of funny interview uh, where they said like, hey, if you want Sly, you just have to ask Sony for it. So we had that, and now this kind of comes like directly after that. It's like, oh, okay, things are picking up. And I've said for the longest time, like I think 2020 should be the year of something, right? Whether it be a remaster, whether it be a collection or something, put these four games together on the PS. For or on the PS5 or on both and see if they sell and then give us a Sly 5 afterwards. I've been saying that for like a year now and I've seen other channels now pop up and, be, and saying it too and we're all you know on the same page I think which is great right we're all asking literally for the same thing and now we get this again a couple things that are a little fishy one the fact that really all of the listing stuff, okay? The 2020 part doesn't sound... It, it's not, like, the most outrageous thing in the world. The fact that Sly Cooper 5, that's the first thing that, like, is like, eh. Like, are, would we be expecting the next Sly to be a 5? Would we... And, especially, and, and also, like, on PS4. So if you're going to do a Sly 5, do, would you really do it on the PS4? Like, wouldn't it be a PS5 thing? I would think. I would also think a remaster, again, a remaster collection would come first. So the fact that it's Sly 5 and not a, you know, the, like the complete edition or whatever you want to call it, like, that is a little odd to me. And then the fact that the image is very clearly just an image you could find on Google. It's just from his animated version. It's not even from the game version. So, I mean, yeah, like the next Sly, if there is a Sly 5, it could very well take that approach where it makes him a little bit more realistic, right? Maybe they drop the whole, like, super cartoony feel to it. And they, I mean, even Crash kind of did that, right? Like, Crash Bandicoot, you look at what he looked like then and you look at what he looks like now. And just because of the technology, like, you can make him look a lot more different and better in a way. I mean, it's actually debatable if you want to debate whether he looks better now than he did back then. And th that could very well, I'm not saying it's not, because that could very well be the approach to Sly. The next time we see Sly in a brand new medium, right, a brand new game, he could very well look massively, massively different because they're just, I mean, they're evolving with the technology, which should be expected. But I do just find it a little bit weird that it very much just looks like it's from the TV show, right? The the, the canceled TV show. So that's something that's a little strange to me. And again, the fact that it's on these sites that are not the biggest sites. And also, I know I said like, an exciting thing is we get that interview right with the with the with one of the lead artists or designers or whoever he was and then he talks about it and then a few weeks later we get this while that's exciting and you could say oh i mean that's stuff like building up is it though doesn't that kind of sound a little fishy it doesn't take 
a genius and it doesn't take really much at all for somebody who is maybe in the and they could be doing it for good intentions but it's very easy for somebody that's in the sly or or likes to pull these kind of pranks to get people excited. You know, you have that interview on Kind of Funny. It did make the news, right? If you were looking for Sly Cooper news for a long time, that was like everybody was talking about that kind of funny interview, right? Because it was big. It's I mean, it's a big deal. Sansaru has created content that they're not released. They would be down to make more of it. Uh, you just have to ask so Sony, right? We need to demand it basically from Sony, and that was a big thing, and everybody was talking about it. So it doesn't take that much to take that and say, well, I'll just Photoshop and make up a Sly Five thing, and then we'll put it on. And, you know, however they do, I don't necessarily even know how they do it, but it, it's I mean, it's been done before for bigger games and it's also been done before on bigger websites okay so it does it's not the hardest thing in the world to pull a prank like this so like at the end of the day if you're asking me do i believe it like if you were really forced me and say well at the end of the day alex what do you think i honestly don't believe it i don't believe it at all to be honest with you i think it's exciting that we're seeing stuff at the same time like misinformation isn't good information right i'd rather have next to nothing than have just a a wave of just like pure garbage and again it could be real i mean i could be wrong but it just seems like fishy timing why would you have a Sly 5 on the PS4? Like, why would 2020 be the year you would decide to do that to end the PlayStation's life cycle, PS4's life cycle, when you already have The Last of Us, Neo 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Dreams, all I mean, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, all of these things. I mean, th I, that's a ton. And there's more. Predator Hunting Grounds is a console exclusive. So you have, like, five, six, seven games through probably August. And then when you get into the fall... Really, the biggest games I I think you're going to put on PS5, right? If you go into the holiday time for Sony, and I'm only talking about Sony just because it's Sly, uh, I think you probably promote like Horizon Zero Dawn 2 or whatever that PS5 must-buy game is. That is what you're pushing in the fall. I don't think there's going to be a PS4 game like there was with Death Stranding this past year that you push for like the holiday. I, I don't think it is because the, the, the goal of Sony in this fall is to push the PS5. So why would would you have Sly? And when would Sly, I mean, how would that, do you have Sly release in September, October, November? But again, like, why is it, like, okay, it's great that it's Sly 5, and I want a Sly 5, but, like, taking the more, like, logistical approach is like, well, we kind of all, we don't really think we're getting a Sly 5 next, do we? Like, we all want it. We all would, like, that would be all of our dreams, right? To skip the whole remaster thing and just get to a new main installment that is what i think we all want but is it what we all expect because i think we kind of all expect again the pulse test what everybody said what i've said with crash uh with spyro is you you put the games together you put it out there if it sells well then you can tell that people still want uh sly and i think that is i think that is a smart approach i think that is uh the way that the industry has been doing it the past two three four years i think that's absolutely the way they're going to continue doing it going forward so i don't know why that wouldn't be the next thing i think that is i honestly think that is whether or not we get that in 2020 that wouldn't prove this you know, the, the, this new leak or, these, the, you know, this listing on these uh, sites to be true. It wouldn't necessarily prove it to be true, uh, but it would, I mean, it would just be kind of like coincidental, right? But I think 2020 could very well be a year where we hear about stuff, that something like that could happen. Uh, but things always pop up. I mean, Sly is a hot topic with when you're just kind of throwing out predictions of like what, uh, you know, some some game that could appear at this place or something that could just release uh, in, a, in a given year. Sly is one that always comes up. And obviously, uh, for good reason, I do think 2020 is at least the year that we hear about Sly. But if anything, I really think it's a remaster. I think it would be around the time of the PS5 and maybe it's a cross-gen game where you could buy it on PS4 or you could buy it on PS5. I think, I mean, that would sell it the best. If it comes out in 2021, then it's like, okay, well, then it's a PS5 exclusive. And it's just, you know, the, uh, again, a remaster, and you see how it does uh, to gauge if 
Sly 5 could return on the PS5. So I don't want to be, you know, a Debbie Downer. I don't want to, you know, break everybody's hearts. But and I don't even know how many people had seen this leak because I certainly didn't up until I literally searched for Sly Cooper news and then I found it. It just seems very odd. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. But let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Do you believe uh, this leak or do you agree with me? What do you think is the next step for Sly Cooper going forward? Again, I want to make more Sly videos, so make sure you guys are subscribed, have that bell icon rung, and let me know in the comments below what future Sly videos you want to see me make. I'd be interested in doing like a, a, a ranking video. I'd love to actually play the games maybe for a live stream or something different like that, uh, but let me know what kind of videos you want to see going forward from me, from Sly. Also, again, the second channel, PS Edition, I'll leave it in the description below, also the comments, uh, so make sure you check that channel out. Again, we talk only gaming there, and then I also talk about PlayStation gaming, so it's definitely something that I could also cover on that channel as well, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.